this is one of those plays that doesn't feel like an old history play. It feels like a play that is living history and that it really appeals to us. I'm actually very excited to tell this story because I think there are a lot of people as well as myself who in the beginning didn't know much about what was going on in this country. They wanted equality. They wanted good education for their children. They wanted to be able to provide for their families. The thing that I think will really interest people about this play is that it's not about victims. It's actually a play about people who survive under astonishing circumstances and in fact one character who actually thrives. Even though everything around her is falling apart, she has a connection to this land and this country. That's pretty amazing. There's never a simple answer to a difficult problem. Um, there are always multiple points of view on how to attack any, any crisis. The people that you see are all the good guys who are trying to do the right thing and trying to figure out what the right thing is. And I think the definition of that is something that the, the play really explores in an interesting way through the character drama between these three people. It is about our own per personal ethics when it comes to things like this, and I think it's always incredibly shaky. Uh, for us as American citizens who have the kind of freedom that we have to really take that for granted and to kind of go, mm, 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 I don't really care about that or I can't. This play reminds us how lucky we are and how we should be taking that fortune and doing something with it. <laughs> It warrants attention and conversation. People should come and see it because it's happening. It's still happening. A lot of people are being hurt and need help, and that's the most important thing that probably any of us need to understand.